Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video and today this video is going to be about the season overall. It's my season review of the 2020-21 season for Chelsea and all in all, I think the overall image of this season is success for Chelsea. Um, you wouldn't have thought so around January when things were going downhill. We were looking to it, we were head towards mid-table quite alarmingly and it looked like it was going to be a dodgy season for us. But then, 25th of January, Frank Lampard is sacked, Thomas Tuchel comes in the next day, doesn't have much time at all to implement his system, his ideas, his philosophy into this team, but certainly managed to do so. And with a fourth place finish in the Premier League, definitely nearly threw it at the end. Um, but overall, you know, you can't just judge it based on that last day and say we got lucky because Tottenham beat Leicester. We deserve to get there in the end because, as everyone says, 38 game season, the winner at the end of that 38 game season, you can't say they were lucky realistically because, you know, they've earned it over 38 games. And that goes for every position across the board. The relegation teams, they deserve it. And the teams that get in that top four, they deserve it. So we did our work earlier on. We slipped right at the end, but thankfully the work we'd done previously kept us in the top four. Thomas Tuchel overall has been a success at Chelsea we didn't think he'd be able to do much you know we knew his target was to get top four but we all thought it was quite an ambitious ambition for you know a few months left of the season but he did it and I'm very impressed with him and I'm very happy that we ended up doing what we did personally you know my whole thoughts on the Frank Lampard situation was I was sort of willing to accept that seasons would maybe you know the first season the transfer ban the youth coming through all that we were expecting that to be a down season. We ended up in the top four. And then the next season, it wasn't going to plan. And I was sort of willing to accept that. I was willing to say, you know what, maybe we do drop down a little bit, but then we recruit again and we go again and we can build and build and build over a few years and really establish something. That's not what Chelsea as the club decided to do, but you can't say it didn't work. And if this is how we're gonna be, then us as fans are gonna have to accept it. There's not much sentimentality left at this club. It's about winning and it always has been at Chelsea. We thought that might have changed with Lampard being appointed, but that wasn't the case. And Tuchel has done a fantastic job. Of course, the main achievement of the season is winning the Champions League with this group of players and this manager. Like, fair play to every single one of them. A huge congratulations. I'm forever thankful because my club has only ever won it once before, and now that's up to two. And I'm sure next season we'll be competing, and for the seasons coming up, I'm sure we'll be doing that. And to me, thinking that wasn't going to be the case at the end of this season, you know, around January, I just, it's crazy to see how we've improved. How Thomas Tuchel has taken the same group of players, and we knew there were standout performers, we knew Rhys James was good, we knew Mason Mount was good, there were certain players in that team that we knew were going to perform for us. However, you know, Timo Werner wasn't working, Kai Havertz wasn't working, there was the midfield wasn't really working well Marcus Alonso the situation with him wasn't looking great even under Tuchel Marcus Alonso has had a few cameos and scored some good goals so you know overall you have to say he's done well we definitely need to improve on goal scoring going into next season our, our top goal scorer in the league is Jorginho with seven and all of them being pens I'm almost certain in all competitions, it's Tammy Abraham and Timo Werner on 12, so credit to Tammy for still holding that, even though he didn't play under Thomas Tuchel. Um, and I guess, in a way, fair play to Timo Werner for getting 12 goals, you know, it's nothing to, you know, say it doesn't mean anything. It's not a great tally, but it's not a shabby one, I suppose, and we hope that he will build on that uh, coming into next season. Overall, our biggest win was a 6-0 against Barnsley in the EFL Cup, which didn't end well for us. We did get knocked out in the fourth round, um, which wasn't a good run in the Cup for us. Uh, and our biggest defeat was, of course, the 5-2 against West Brom. A very bad game for us, probably the worst under Tuchel so far. And hopefully that is the worst. Hopefully it doesn't get any worse than that. Um, but then, of course, the Premier League, I think you can say it was a success. It wasn't, you know in terms of Chelsea wanting to win Premier League titles again. It's not success in that sense, but how the season was going, our expectations coming into it. We, we wanted to do better, but we realised, you know, around December, midway through that season, it wasn't going well. And we made a good change and we've ended up with a good, a good achievement in the end. Uh, the FA Cup, of course, getting to the final was great. Losing it to Leicester was not. That is one of my biggest like hurts of this season. You know, of course, Frank. I guess Frank Lampard sacking was number one, but in terms of like a game that was just awful, 
it was that Leicester game. It, the performance wasn't there, but I've made videos on that. If you want to see them, go check them out if you want to see my opinion on it. But obviously, that was a very bad game for us. Um, Premier League was good. FA Cup was good, but should have been better. EFL Cup wasn't good for us this season. And then the Champions League... I mean, to win the Champions League ever is amazing, but to do it under these circumstances was great. Now having Mason Mount, you know, there's no more slander to his name from people who don't rate him. Seeing him coming up through the youth uh, system, winning trophies with the youth teams, and now seeing him in the first team winning a Champions League warms my heart. Like, I love the guy to death, and seeing that is just so, so important. Reese James, of course, Andreas Christensen, um, I'm missing so many players, Callum hudson Adoy, Tammy Abraham, all these academy boys that have come through and have now got Champions League winner medals. It's it's amazing. Um, and overall, I'm very happy with the season. Leading into next season, I will be making a video on, you know, what are Chelsea fans to expect next season. Um, but a brief overlook has to, you know, we, if we win the Champions League, you got to say we go again. We make an effort to try and win it once more try and retain it that would be a huge achievement and very difficult to do so i'm not saying you know we should walk it because even this season we were the underdogs getting into that final um, but we have done well premier league i think you've got to say close the gap on city but if we make some really good signings then challenge for the title has to be the ambition you know it, it can no longer be get into that top four we, we're a top four team every season basically now so we have to close that gap on City. Let's hope they don't recruit too well. Let's hope that they can't get their targets or something and we can start to edge that gap closer. And, you know, they probably are the favourites for it still, almost definitely. But if they slip up, we need to be the team that is on their tail and takes that opportunity. Because we saw early on in the season, they were slipping. They weren't doing too great. And then they went on an incredible run throughout the mid to late season, making sure that they won it. If we were the team that, you know, that early season was just getting win, 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 and just racking up those Ws, so much so that even when they have a burst of form and they start catching up like we know Manchester City will, we're too far ahead to be caught. And that's where we need to be going into next season and coming off a Champions League win as our last game from this season, hopefully will help us start the next season off right. I'm really hoping that's the case. So it has to be challenged for the Premier League. In terms of the Cups, EFL Cup, I'd like to win it, you know, it's, I'd never turn my nose up at a trophy. Um, of course, we're completing in the Cup Winners Cup, Super Cup, so, you know, those have we got aspirations to win, of course. And then the, um, the FA Cup, I would like to win it if we've got to the final this year. We've been to the final so many times, it feels like recently. Let's go win it, you know, let's put this, this current season's one back of our head, so what, we let Leicester get one for the first time in their history, I think. Um, and we'll go and win it again this or we'll, yeah again in terms of we've having won it before we'll go and do it again this season to make up for last season i think that's fair enough so if we come out of the next season with a good challenge in the premier league maybe win it you know we'll see how it goes i'll be happy getting a trophy like the fa cup or the efl cup i'll be happy with competing in the champions league trying to retain that overall competing on all these fronts plus the the uh, competitions that come along with winning the champions league I'll be very happy with it so we'll see how it goes of course i'll be continuing to make videos throughout this period um, i might do some on the international fixtures coming up for the euros so if you guys are interested absolutely i can make videos on them uh, let me know that in the comment section down below if you know that's something you'd really like to see overall thank you guys for your support this season we we of course had a very good start to the season in terms of our channel my channel growth was insane I took a bit of a break and now it's bit in the dumps, but we're working on it. We're working on getting back. Um, so to all the people that are always in the comment section commenting, you know who you are. I always um, comment back. Thank you for your support. I'm forever grateful. And let's go on to another good season and see what else we can win as Chelsea FC. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you on the next one. Goodbye.